In this video, we're gonna be using Katie's Bubbles Knee High to a Grape, and we're gonna be comparing the Above the Tie SSRH to the Above the Tie SSH1. Stay tuned. Hey there folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it, and as mentioned before, today we're gonna to be using an old school classic. This is Katie's Bubbles Knee High to a Grape, which is just a fun scent. And what does it smell like? It smells like grape knee-high soda. So if you remember that from years ago, and I think it's still around, just a beautiful grape sweet scent. It's a fun scent. It doesn't take itself uh, too seriously. Strongly scented, I would say, too. So if you like scents that have pop out of the tub or soaps that have pop in terms of their scent, this might be one to check out. This is, again, from Katie's Bubbles, and it comes to you for $14 for four ounces or $3.50 an ounce on our cost chart, which is a good price. This is a vegan soap. I'll put the ingredients for you right there on the screen. And man, I tell you what, this has a robust scent. It's just beautiful, that that good old-fashioned knee-high. The consistency of the soap is it's pretty firm to the touch, which is good, so you'll get some additional value out of that. It's not a soft or goopy base at all. And I look forward to using this old-school classic uh, today. The razors for today, because we're going to be doing a comparison, are the Above the Tie SSRH, and this is the brushed matte finish, and the Above the Tie SSH1 in the satin matte finish. This one cost $160, this one $172. Now, one thing I want to mention before I get further into the tail of the tape of the razors, if you're looking to buy an Above the Tie razor, use discount code. I'll put it on the screen for you right there. I am CDB and get yourself 10% off. That also helps, helps the channel. So thank you if you do. But as always, only if you're looking to buy an Above the Tie product, you might as well save some money. Use the discount code there. Okay, so again, this one 160, this one 172. The blade gap on the SSRH is 0.8 zero and it's rated as eight out of nine in aggression on the above the tie uh, scale. The blade gap on the SSH1 is 0.91 and it's listed as nine out of nine on aggressive in aggression on the above the tie uh, rating scale there. And as you can see on the bottom, they have different sort of lather channels. The SSRH has those sort of cutouts and the SSH1 has those sort of dots. Um, I find that both of them rinse fine with no problems whatsoever, and both are equipped with the Atlas handle, both stainless steel. And one of the things I always like to show with the Atlas handle, it has some really terrific barber pole knurling. So if I turn that razor upside down and just let it slide down, it sort of twists on its own um, because this is very grippy. It's not harsh or anything to the touch, but very grippy. I've always loved the above the tie uh, Atlas handle. So without further ado, let's get into it. And one thing I want to mention, as we're beginning to get our lather on today. And I have uh, 24 hours of growth there today, spraying a little mist on the face. Uh, there will be a giveaway on the Real Talk show this Friday, coming this Friday, 8 p.m. Eastern, Real Talk, and we'll have um, Nate and Mel, or Mel and Nate from BBS Live on our show, but Maritime Brushworks, or Maritime Brush Co. I always get that confused, sorry about that. Maritime Brush Co is doing a brush giveaway. And so we will have a giveaway for those who show up for the show Friday. You'll have a chance to win a Maritime Brush Co. Or did I mess it up again? No, Brush Co. Brushworks, Brush Co. Some companies are Brush Co. Some companies are Brushworks. It gets confusing. But anyway, it is a beautiful brush. We'll put a picture of it right there for you. Nice looking brush that Brendan from Maritime reached out to us and said, hey, I want to do a giveaway on your show, Real Talk. And I said, hey, great. And so someone will win that brush who's in attendance for Real Talk on Friday night. So I'll pop a little piece of video up in one of the corners there for you and show a little piece of video he showed with, with it on a sort of a rotary sort of device so you can see it. Nice looking brush there, I think. So hopefully one of you will, will win. Okay, here we go with our lather. By the way, we are using a Maritime Brush Co brush today, which I purchased from Brendan over there. Great guy. And I hope he'll make more handles of the shape um, of the one that's up for giveaway because I really like that style of handle. Anyway, no problems lathering the Katie's Bubbles. It's easy to lather. No problem whatsoever. It smells great, by the way. If you like me, high sense, fun sense, um, 
this one is has a lot of pop to it and it's uh i, I just call it a fun scent you know it's, again it doesn't take itself seriously it's just like hey let's have some fun you know and i for one really like that let's cut that back just a little bit more and we'll be ready to go and we're going to start out today and we'll We'll use the SSH1, which is this one, on this side of the face, and we'll use the RH, on that, which is this one, on this side of the face. And what we really seek to find out is how different do these feel? Let's see. Wow, it's really hard to tell. Both feel, you get blade feel on both. It's hard to... It's hard for me to tell if there's a significant difference. So let's let's just press on with the H1 here. You definitely get a lot of blade feel with the H1. It is an efficient razor. So if you're just starting out and you don't want a lot of blade feel, don't get the H1. Keep in mind, however, that uh, above the tie has the M plate, which is on the mild side. They have the R plate there, which is sort of medium. And so you can find a plate that you enjoy. I prefer the H because I do like a little more blade feel. That's just my preference. It doesn't make it better. It doesn't make it macho. It doesn't make it anything, but we all have preferences. And some people prefer a little more efficiency in their razors and some people don't, and it's okay either way. Uh, if you like a good mild razor, no problem with that because I will use them myself. But if given a choice, I'll usually choose something with a little more efficiency. Yeah, I think, I think you can feel after now using this one. Now, keep in mind, even the RH has a good bit of blade feel to it. Still very smooth, but I think the H1 has more. So if you're looking for sort of maximum efficiency, I think the H1 would probably be the way to go as far as that goes. But this one is no slouch in efficiency. It is quite efficient as well. Both feel nice and smooth. The blades in both are brand new uh, Gillette Nasset blades, by the way. And it comes in a uh, package like that, Nasset, which I've grown to like quite a bit. So the first pass there, quite good. Everything was very, very, very good. Soap, great, brush, great, razors. Um, for me, I think I'm getting a little more, the, the feeling of a little more efficiency on our uh, H1 side, which is this side. But is it night and day? No. But I think I can feel a little bit more blade for whatever that's worth. And that might be good or bad, depending on, again, your perspective. Very nice. Very nice. Boy, I tell you what, this is a bright scent. Strong, too. So if you're looking for a strongly scented soap, this one brings it. So keep that in mind. Katie's Bubbles is, you know, one of the sort of senior uh, artisanal soap makers. I don't mean in age, I just mean in terms of longevity doing it. He's been around for quite some time now. Um, I remember using his soaps years ago. In fact, using this one. It's been a while since I've used this one because I had to pick it up. I don't know what happened. I used to have this and I couldn't find it, so I grabbed it recently. I might have given it away. You never, you never know. <laughs> but anyway, um, I used this years ago. It's nice, and bright, just fun. Every now and then for me, I just want something that's just fun. You know, you you can just enjoy that scent. Sort of think about being a kid and drinking knee high out of that bottle. And I tell you what, there was nothing better than drinking knee high or virtually any soda out of a bottle. Really, really cold. Man, I tell you what, the, the bottles were where it was at when it come to when it came to drinking those sodas. Or at least, that's the way I felt about it. You know, the cans are fine, but the bottles were the glass bottles. The plastic bottles, I didn't really like drinking beverages out of uh, plastic bottles too much, to be honest. All right, let's get into the second pass here with our above the tie. And we'll make this one a little bit quicker so we don't make a video that's 40 days, 40 nights long. Very nice and smooth. Good efficiency on this razor. This is definitely... An efficient razor. So if you've been looking for a razor that's stainless steel, made in the United States and efficient, then the H might be for you. If you're looking for very, very mild, then something like the above the tie M might be for you. If you're looking in the middle, then the R plate might be for you. Very nice. 
nice and smooth, quite efficient, the H, which I happen to like a lot. But this razor here, which was, by the way, sent to me, um, or at least this head was sent to me to check out. And I think I'm going to buy this one from above the top. Um, this one feels very nice, too. It feels similar to the other one. But perhaps just a hair less efficient. I do like the finish on this one, which is, uh, again, this is their uh, brushed matte finish, which I like. It's a little shinier than the satin matte. And it's also cheaper. This one's 160. So I'm thinking about uh, getting buying this one from above the tie because I like the way it shades. It's, it's it's similar to the other, but I think I prefer the finish on this one. Um, I don't know. It looks better. Both are great shavers. I think I like the lather rinse ports on this one too. Although honestly, have we as we've been saying lately. Um, I find that the way I rinse the razor, I don't ever have a problem rinsing regardless of lather, uh, rinse ports. I rinse it sort of down this way and it sort of just goes down and I don't ever have a problem with it. Again, if you are having problems, make sure you get more hydration in your lather and it should not be a problem regardless of what razor you're using. Now let's get on with our final pass here. And boy, it's been a nice smooth shave today. Great scent on the soap. Um, again, this might not be one that you would wear to a formal event. <laughs> like if you, had, you know, if you, uh, I don't know if he makes an aftershave in this. I'll have to check to see if he has a splash, but if it's like for around the house or, or whatever, I think it's perfect. But you know, you may not want to smell like grape knee high at the, the, uh, awards banquet or something like that. But me personally, I, you know, I just wear whatever I like when I like, but I do recognize that there are probably some functions um, where maybe you might not want to smell like grape Neha. I get that. But boy, it sure is a fun scent. All the same. I don't know if he has a splash in this, so I'll have to check. Very nice, wow. Just feels great. This is just one of those shades that's just enjoyable, fun, no problems with the lather. We won't spend all day lathering. The brush, by the way, there by Maritime Brush Coat, um, that has a cashmere knot, and that's pretty much my all-around favorite knot, period. That's my favorite synthetic knot, and since I'm predominantly a synthetic user, it's uh, that's my go-to knot. I, I love it. Very nice. All right, final pass here with our above the tie SS. H1, beautiful razor. And by the way, we had um, Mariah on and her husband, and now I'm forgetting his name, and I apologize <laughs> for forgetting his name all of a sudden. But anyway, we had the good folks at Above the Tower on Real Talk a couple of months ago. I'll link that video for you below if you want to learn a little bit about Above the Top. They were lovely, down-to-earth people, just good old-fashioned nice folks and uh it's worth watching if you want to learn about above the tie you're interested in above the tie as a company very nice wow we okay really really enjoyed that side honestly who am i kidding both sides are going to be <laughs> really enjoyable it's just uh that's why we keep coming back here and making these videos it's good and it's really good to be using a uh what I'm calling an old school classic now because uh, this soap's been around for quite some time, a number of years. And it's just fun to use something like this every once in a while that's, you know, again, it's not a real serious sin. It's just just there for fun, for there for you to reminisce and think about what were probably easier times for a lot of us or simpler times for a lot of us. <laughs> and the quality is just fine. There's no problems with that. I know it doesn't have the, you know, 97 butters and elixirs and exotic ingredients nowadays that some of the other soaps has or have, but it still performs quite well. Still slick, still very well priced, which I really like. And I still have a ton of Katie's Bubbles because it's still good stuff. I have a lot of old, 
older soaps that are, they still have their scent. They're still in great shape. Man, that was a nice shave. Very, very enjoyable. Just really fun. It's always nice to come back and just have another great fun shave. All right, stay tuned. We'll come back for the post in just a moment. And all right, we are back on off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap, and then we applied our alum, no staining, so that was a nice smooth shave on both sides. Following the alum, we did a cold water rinse, and then toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the Thayer's Magic, because it's made by witches. I had an excellent time today using Katie's Bubbles Knee High to a great, strongly scented, lathers easily, great price, Good classic uh, artisanal soap, in my opinion. Katie's Bubbles Knee High to a Grape. I enjoyed it today. So, as to the razors, which one would I choose if I could only choose one? I would probably choose the Above the Tie SSRH. It has plenty enough efficiency. I like the design of the base plate a little bit more with those cutouts, and I like the finish a little bit more. If maximum efficiency uh, is your objective, then the SSH one might be the one for you. This one is slightly more efficient, but overall, if I had to choose one, I would choose the SSRH. I just prefer it. And it's also a little bit cheaper for what that's worth. And I do like the finish. So both are great razors. And remember, if you're going to make a purchase at Above the Tie, use the discount code IMCDB and get yourself 10% off. And it also helps the channel. So thank you in advance if you do. We're going to close it out today with another old school bright scent, and that is Razor Rock Don Marco, which is kind of like an orange creamsicle or dreamsicle or whatever. Nothing like knee high to a grape, but it's bright and it's nice. It's fun. And we're going to be off to the races and having a great day. And I hope wherever you are, you'll be having a great day and some great shaves as well. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave. Do it your way. And as always, God bless.